eight Portage Park businesses hit by the same frustrating surprise, graffiti on their windows. But then a pleasant surprise, how quickly the city removed this mess. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas steps us through the crime and the cleanup. It's a learning experience. <laughs> Phoebe Hernandez owns the one stop okay. beauty school at Milwaukee and Montrose. The man who visited Sunday morning wasn't looking for a lesson. He sat in the car for a minute. Security video shows him hop out around three in the morning and then tag two of her windows. Police say seven other businesses were also tagged in the area. And so it's kind of like, oh, why? <laughs> you know? I'm a brand new business. We're a school. Just be kind and compassionate and understanding about you know, the businesses that are struggling to stay open. Citywide graffiti removal requests jumped from 93,275 in 2019 to 107,939 in 2020, a year when 311 requests across the board went up. But last year, the numbers dropped down to 90,475, even lower than 2019. We won't give the Portage Park vandal the satisfaction of showing you his taggings. Hernandez says the Department of Streets and Sanitation showed up Monday and cleaned them up. I really appreciate it. I'm like, wow, that was like really fast. A department spokesperson says Streets and Sands improved the way they track and respond to graffiti requests in 2019. We tagged along with a team around the time some of those changes went into effect. Department leaders hope, after the turbulence of 2020, the declining numbers are in part a result of those changes. 3.07 a.m. Whatever is causing the decline, Hernandez hopes it continues. If, if the family members see that person, he should, they should also like have a talk with them. And that this person never stops by the one-stop beauty school again. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. For more stories like this one, you can download our CBS Chicago app and click on the section called Morning Insider.